Hey everybody, Looks Into Swirl here. I just got a box from Joggles. I'm kind of excited about this. I am always on the hunt for different things that I can either put into a mold before I pour resin or put onto a tumbler before I put the resin on that or mix it into the resin or something like that. And I thought when I was just perusing the Joggles site the other day, there are all sorts of artist supplies that I have no clue about. I don't know what they are. I don't know what people use them for. I could go searching on YouTube and I may do that still, but I got a collection of a bunch of different stuff. I just basically ordered like one or two of everything. I thought we would at least go through everything, open it up, take a look, maybe test it out. I have a canvas board here. I have some different kinds of application tools, foam brush, sticks, cheapo paint brushes, and these silicone paint brushes that also have the little um, ball tipped ends on the other side or on the other end. And I wanted to just see what these do and where I might be able to use them just to see, you know, if, I, if we can come up with something a little different. Try them out as I'm telling you what they are. So let's do that. Okay, here's the first thing. This is, I've got a couple Marabou products here. And I like, I like the Marabou stuff I've used, the alcohol inks and the um, hydro dipping paints. I like those. So I'm hoping I have the same happy feeling when I use their other products. This is acrylic mousse. So I'm guessing it is a, um, I, I don't know what it is. It's an acrylic mousse. <laughs> Soft water-based acrylic paste for pastels, fluffy, chalky appearance. It's lightweight, makes it suitable for multiple layers and high relief patterns. Apply with spatula or paintbrush. Ideal for stencils, suitable for canvas, wood, MDF, paper, metal, so it could go, go on a tumbler, etc. Drying time, two to 24 hours, depending on thickness of application. All right, so not sure, not sure. Woo, we got some coming out already and I didn't even squeeze the tube, so we'll just do this. I will give you a close-up look at all of these um, test swatches I do at the end. So that's kind of cool. It would probably look really cool on a cup. Very pretty. Not sparkly, but pretty. Uh, there's one I already know how it's going to work, and I, I'm not sure why I thought it would be different when I bought it. This is Perlex, Perlex Aztec Gold, and it is a powder. So I'm guessing this is a uh, like a chrome mica. I mean, it really, it really looks, feels, and goes on like like a chrome powder. And we'll go on to this one. This is icing paste by Finnebear Lucky Emerald. So it's got a shimmer to it. Smooth and easy to spread with a palette knife, silicone brush, or texture tool. Perfect to add freehand effects or to work with stencils to add great detailed look. Okay, permanent and flexible after drying. Possible to mix with other colors from the same line, but also any art ingredients, such as microbeads, art stones, glitter, and more. And it's water-based. I avoided anything that was oil-based because I knew that um, Epoxy would not like that. So I did open this. I opened most of these um, flat jars ahead of time just out of sheer curiosity and to pull the seals off. So this is a shimmery, kind of the same thing as this. Not a, not a paste, but obviously you can texture with it. All right, these guys are all from the same line, but they're, they have different properties. I got a Luster Polish. This is from Cosmic Shimmer. This is a Luster Polish. You can see it shimmers. This is an Opal Polish. So it shimmers, but not as sparkly, or of an, I don't know, iridescent or color shift. And this one is a matte chalk polish, so no sparkle, no shimmer, chalky. Okay, and I'm gonna read you what it says on the bottom. I think it says basically the same thing on most of them. Let's see. To create 
colorful luster effects on any porous craft service just release the integral sponge it gives you all these just instruction destructions wow instructions for there's some sort of sponge thing in here but it also says you can use your finger so you have to reading all about how i detach the sponge and go get it soapy wet and all this other stuff i'm just I'm just gonna try my finger at it Ooh, it's kind of jelly it stinks to high heaven too look at that really really reeks but it's definitely shimmery okay let's try the chalk one i think this says basically the same thing yeah and except it starts out to create soft matte chalk effects but then it goes on to say exactly the same thing with the sponge and all that so i'll just it smells bad not quite as not quite as oh it's jelly too <laughs> so this is this is more like what I would think of when I think of mousse or uh, whipped jello. That's what it feels like, whipped jello. Look at that. Oh, it's gross. And then we'll try the opalescent one. Oh, did that one. This is, this says, yes, to create colorful iridescent effects, blah, blah, blah. Use your finger. Ooh, ow. Smells just as bad. And it's jelly too. <laughs> not sure how you'd use a not sure how you'd use anything. Have to stir it up first. Okay, wow. <laughs> that is cool looking. Definitely color shifting. You see that? Okay. Yeah, this goes on like I would, like the Arteza iridescent color paints. Those are pretty neat. Let's see, here we have Art Spray, Mixed Media Art Spray. All of these say do not let children use them, so there you go. Adult art supplies. Uh, brightly colored water-based acrylic spray for light porous surfaces such as canvas, paper, wood, intermixable, water thinnable, quick drying, light fast, and waterproof. Shake well before use. After use, pump warm water through the spray head. Oh boy. All right. Let's turn it around and spray in that corner there. Mmm. That's interesting. And right now it just looks, it's just, you know. It's not sparkly or shiny or anything. I mean, it's shiny because it's wet. Uh, I'd be surprised if it dries that way, but we'll come back and take a look. Okay. I will be cleaning up after myself when we, when we finish all this, but I'm not gonna rush off right this second to clean the, the pump spray heads out of these things. Now this one is, oh, that, I'm sorry, that was by, yeah, this is a Marabou product also. This is Dilutions. And the color is Camp Calypso Teal Shimmer Spray. That's, that's pretty. Look at the pearlescent on that puppy. Can you see that? So just to shake it up. Add pearlescent shimmer to any paper craft or mixed media project. Shake bottle until mixing ball rattles. Well, it hasn't done that yet. And pigment, pigment is suspended in liquid, then spray directly onto surface. Clean nozzle after use. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, it's got some, it's got some definite, uh, very subtle sparkle to it. Let's see if I can get you a close up here. Very, so I don't know if it's going to come through or not. If I could catch the sunlight here. But you'll have to take my word for it. It's got it's got a shimmer to it. It's just kind of hard to see right now. All right, so that's pretty cool. This I don't know what I was thinking. I really, really don't. Because if you saw my November resin and more box project with the gold, copper, and silver flakes, you'll know I hate flakes. I really don't like them at all. And here I've gone and ordered a jar of the darn things. These are Cosmic Shimmer Aurora Flakes, and I already opened the jar, like I said, to take the seal off and 
They're just everywhere already. I'm gonna get a makeup brush for this one. It's one of my Wet n Wild makeup brushes. Oh God, they're just already everywhere. It's like, you know, I already figured that if they do an autopsy on me, they will find glitter in every organ, but I think they're gonna find a lot of flakes too. All right, so these do not come apart. There are some flakes that are actually, like they're called, I think, chrome flakes or mica flakes, where they actually, if you, you know, beat on them with a brush, they actually disintegrate into the micas or chromes. But these are just obviously designed to be stick them on flakes. Why did I order these? What on earth was I thinking? Yeah, okay. Flaky things. Yeehaw. Just close that back up. And we move on. <laughs> Three things left. This is, did I talk about this already? This is another Marabou product. This is Aqua Ink, watercolor ink. And it says ultra brilliant pigmented watercolor ink, water-based, shape vigorously before use. So I'm guessing you could put this in a pen or use a, like a fountain nib dip pen. Probably use brushes. I do not, as I've probably mentioned a million times, I do not have a steady hand. I am a lefty. I cannot do calligraphy. I, I just sort of suck at all that stuff. That's supposed to say teal. Not sure, looks like maybe T-E-A-C. You would think since my first initial was an L, I would have at least learned how to make nice L's. You would be wrong. There we go. Let's see what happens with a paintbrush. This would make a pretty painting. Okay, yeah. it's good and it is really ultra pigmented, definitely. Two more. We have here Nouveau Embellishment Mousse and Nouveau Crackle Mousse. Uh, textured finish, apply with a spatula. For a smooth finish, apply with a soft cloth. Water-based product, add distilled water to soften the consistency. Adds metallic dimensional details to your craft project. So you could put this, I didn't, I didn't actually open this one. This on. A resin piece like the the dragon I just poured the other day not that it needs anything it's already colored if it were a black say or white or gray or single color I could effectively use that to add shimmer oh it's really it's really solid it is not a mousse it is a paste well okay it is shimmery though very pretty Very pretty. Last thing we have to look at is our Nouveau Crackle Mousse. Uh, adds, meta adds metallic dimensional details to your craft project. Apply with spatula. If applied using a stencil, a raised effect will occur. Ensure a thick, even layer is applied to create your crackle effect. Now, I've never used crackle anything before. I know there's a Crackle is very popular in the tumbler world for making crackle cups and then putting, I don't know, flowers on them or I don't know, a farm truck or something. All sorts of ideas. It's not that I have anything against it, I've just never done it. Let's see if I can apply a layer so that when it dries we can see if it's going to crackle or not. That's what it looks like up close now. And we will come back and look at that to see if it crackles when it's dry. 
So time will pass for me. It'll be a blink of an eye for you. And here we go. And we're back. So there won't be any resonating going on today. I will just show you what's happening outside. It is apparently supposed to be a really horrendous nor'easter. And it started this morning. And it's going to go till tomorrow morning. So I probably won't open all my windows and turn on the fans and stuff. Huh. I'm just resonating already. So we can at least finish this one up by showing you how these turned out once everything dried on our little test palette swatch thing here. I also have some more things I want to try that I forgot about yesterday. So there may be a slight add on at the end. It's just, it's one thing. I've got multiple colors. And so you're not in suspense, I will show you. Uh, this is Doc P.H. Martin's Iridescent Calligraphy Colors. Shimmering Interference Waterproof Colors Light Fast. For calligraphy, rubber stamping, airbrushing, flows evenly and steady off the pen tip. No start and stop marks. Well, that's fantastic. I don't know how I'm going to use it, though. I don't think, th so this isn't the same as this that we did with the, that word teal, if you can call it the word teal. Uh, this is water, does it say watercolor ink? And this is waterproof ink. <laughs> totally different. So not sure. It doesn't say it's acrylic ink. It doesn't say what's in it, actually. Um, yeah, so I want to test my inks out. But in the meantime, let's go over this. I was most interested in the crackle, which is the crackle mousse which is the Nouveau Crackle Mousse. And there we go. And it crackled. I was a little afraid it wouldn't. I didn't know how thick a layer I had to make to get the crackle effect. And you saw me put it on and it, it crackled. Look, that's so cool. So I can see actually applying this to a um, tumbler, a stainless steel tumbler. All right, so this is our spray shimmer. That's this. The Delusions Shimmer Spray. That is beautiful and very shimmery. Here is what the purple spray looked like. The Art Spray by Marabou. Acrylic spray. So it's just acrylics. It's not it's supposed to shimmer. And it doesn't, but it's pretty. I'm not sure where I would ever use it, but it's pretty. Uh, let's see what else we have here. This was our Opal Polish. This one here. That's pretty. And then we also have the gold luster polish that's this one so it's shimmery and sparkly and then this one was uh the matte yes the matte chalk polish and uh yeah all of them have a little bit of texture to them i especially built that one up in a spot or two and that's very nice and this one as well let's see this one was this one was this, uh, icing paste. And it's a beautiful pearlescent green. So that's gorgeous. And the purple, this one was the very first thing we tried, the acrylic mousse from Marabou. All right, so that's that. And then this over here is the Nouveau embellishment mousse. And that, I like that. I think that's got, well, it's got shimmer. And you know, me, shimmer, love. Okay, so I'm gonna stand my little tripod up here and we are gonna add some of these uh, iridescent calligraphy color waterproof things. Okay, I'm gonna shake these up. Okay, there's a drop of it. it. Just sits there when I take a brush to it. Oh, it's nice and shimmery. Okay. Hey, there it is. Okay, do the teal now. Ooh, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I am going to go back and redrop those three inks that I just did onto here. 
We're gonna let them dry, and when it gets back to weather that I feel I can resin in, we will include this in a video coming up so you can see how it looks. Obviously, I can't do it while it's wet. It doesn't like anything liquid. Resin doesn't. I could probably mix it into resin, and I will try that in the future also. I did a mica swirl, and then I dropped acrylic ink onto the, the tumbler while it was still moving around. All right, so we're gonna let that dry. Meanwhile, I think this was a success. My first test is gonna be putting this on a tumbler. So I'll take some of these, like this one and this one, and maybe this one, and I'll apply them to a tumbler, let it all dry, spray seal it with a Rust-Oleum Clear spray, and then put a layer of resin over it and see what it looks like. Thanks everyone, stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.